Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to record all 16 zones from the Phantom directly into Ableton Live over USB as audio. All right, let's get started. So if we wanted to record tracks from the Phantom, maybe we go ahead and we have a song and we want to go ahead and record that song into Ableton. Here's the most basic way we're going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this song uh, called uh, Feeling You. So I'll have that right here. Let's give it a quick listen. So right there. Okay, so we have that song there. I'm gonna go ahead and record it inside Ableton. Uh, and in the previous video, we talked about how to set up the preferences for Ableton and the Phantom, so everybody talks together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start bringing in tracks. So I'm gonna do all audio in this demonstration. So we're going to say, all right, let's add audio and I'm gonna add up to 16. And let me go ahead and close this so we have more room and you can see all 16. Great. So I'll do it in this screen. I really like using the live set scene, but we're going to actually record it inside the arrangement view. All right. So very fast, I'm going to come in and everything's sequential. So I'm going to have zone one all the way up to zone 16. So bear with me. I will go ahead and get this set up right now. And I'm just choosing since I have them pre-labeled and I did that into preferences. Uh, you can go back and review that video. It's very easy and Ableton uh, remembers my settings. So there we go. So halfway, have just about halfway there. And once again, what I'm doing is I'm setting up Ableton to, to uh, know which of the phantom zones or the phantom inputs are being played. So here we go. Now, another cool thing while I'm finishing is this up. If you this you find this is something you're going to do often, you could always go ahead and save this particular setup with the inputs uh, inputs enabled, and you could save that as a template, and that would save you a lot of time if this is something you do often. All right, so I have it set. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my arrangement view right here. There, we are all set to go inside Ableton. Once again, I'll go ahead and close this window because I'm not really using it, and uh, I'm. Well, I think I'm pretty much set to go. So before I do that, I am going to make sure my Phantom, my USB audio, shift, and hit this button right here, set to red. This is how hot the USB audio is going out of the Phantom over USB into a DAW, such as Ableton. So I'll make it so we can see. So I flipped it back over to Live Set, and I'm going to turn it all the way down at first and watch... Watch the levels here. Watch the meters. I'll press play on my song in the Phantom. You're not getting anything in Ableton. Let's slowly bring it up. Oh, I forgot an important thing. We have to arm the tracks, everybody. How funny. So we have to arm the tracks. So let me arm these guys real quick uh, just so we can have it set. And then we'll we'll be good to go. Uh, this is good, though. I love that we ha uh, show some of the the trials and tribulations and stuff that we would commonly forget. All right, now we're good to go. All the tracks are armed. They are ready to receive. So once again, I'm turning down my volume here. It's my gain, essentially, for the Phantoms individual tracks. And now I'll press play. And let's slowly bring it up into Ableton to where it's a nice and healthy sound. Bring it up. There we go. I'm watching this guy right here. 10, that's where my drums are. Everything seems like it's pretty hot. Nice. All right. So everything looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have it uh, going right there. So now I'll go ahead and flip it back over. And I think I am ready to record. Uh, let's see if I can make this a little bit uh, so you can see. All right, we are ready to record. So I'm just going to press record in Ableton and press play on the Phantom. Here we go. So press play. And we're starting to see it record. Very good.
All right, I'm gonna press stop on my Phantom and I'll stop on Ableton. And you can see, like I said, this is just a little taste. That quickly, we recorded the audio in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and solo a couple of tracks and go in here. Now, one thing I want to mention, as I'm playing back from Ableton, now I'm going to switch my USB audio switch and fader here. I'm going to press and hold shift, hit it, and turn it green. So that's taking what's coming from the outside into the Phantom, and this is my volume for my DAW, essentially. So check it out. I'll play it back. You're not hearing anything. Now I'll bring it up. There you go. So I can adjust the playback volume from my DAW. So once again, that was that track. Let's go ahead and hear a... Another track. Uh, let's hear that drum. I think it's on number 10. And here we go. I think this is it right here. 10. Great. And yep, have it soloed. And let's hear it back. Once again, I can turn it down. Adjust it just so I can for my hearing. There we go. Very, very quick and very easy. All right. So as you see, recording the tracks into Ableton Live from the Phantom. Just taking all of our songs that we're kind of dropping down in there uh, is very easy to do. All right, watch the next video because we're going to demonstrate how to have the Phantom, the tempo of the Phantom, sync up to Ableton Live. So that way all I have to do is press record in Ableton Live and the Phantom will be recorded by Ableton Live at the correct tempo set by Ableton. All right, I hope this helps you guys out. Take care, and we'll talk to you later.